We do have the FLS of Maldiva Yips and Khan versus Coatings LSD. These are two comps that like to rot, like to do a lot of dot damage. And at this point, Maldiva's team coming out of the gates right here. Looks like they're going to want to probably get the opener. Yips is stealthing. He's going to want to open on someone. Maldiva getting that nice gate off right there. That's going to be a good gate for his team to use when they need it. And there's the bleeds coming out to Wildflower, getting opened on with that pounce from Yips. Yips also maybe trying to attack Nuker, the Warlock, on Coding's team. But Maldiva getting locked out right there. He's not going to be able to do as much damage as he wants to. Uh, it looks like his team is taking the brunt of the damage right now. But there's the Shadow Fury. He's trying to set up off of this, trying to get, trying to get his dots out trying to do as much damage as possible it does look like they're deciding to triple dot here which means they're just gonna try and rot coding's team as much as they possibly can and Cording's team, though, also answering with their own dots. The Dark Soul coming out by Nuker uh, to counteract Maldiva's Dark Soul. And it looks like Maldiva's team is just rotting away right here, but all of their HPs are hovering about 60-70%. Uh, they're just falling below their, you know, where they really want to be right now. Uh, the Fire Elite is still out from the Ellie Shaman, and the Ascendance is out too. So a lot of damage is coming out here. But Cording going down right here with the Incarn. He has to use that Bark Skin, has to use a lot of his heals. He's in a little bit of trouble, but the Ascendance is coming out as well. A lot of counter pressure here, and the full clone onto Cording interesting clone um, that will stop the bleeds from taking but maybe they wanted to set him up for some stuns after that the shamanistic rage does come out from wallflower he's forced to use his defenses right there forced to uh, get some heals from cording who's now spread a little bit thin because he's restunned by the feral with that rake stun right there into the half bash maldiva not really connecting um he's not having as many dots on the druid as he would like to i'm sure but he's doing damage to the Shaman at the same time, who has no Sham Rage, no NG prog available. There's the last triple DR stun onto Cording, who's taking a lot of damage here at 20%. He does not have Bark Skin available. Maldiva not really connecting, though, just still dotting up the whole team, maybe playing for the long game, knowing that Cording is still going to survive. Um, and at this point... Maldiva's team looking pretty far ahead right now. Not too many dots onto them. The full clone onto Cording, he does decide to trinket that. Uh, well played by him. He needs to stay ahead. He needs to keep his team ahead. There's the Iron Bark onto Wallflower, keeping him defensive. He's going to have a Shamanistic Rage back anytime now. Um, but Cording himself, he's going to be going oom um with all this healing he has to do, all this spread pressure. Uh, he should have his Bark Skin back up by now as well, so he's not going to be in too much trouble, but... He's deciding to gate through the middle of the map, trying to run towards the other side, maybe recover a little bit here because his team is definitely on the back foot. But on the same token, we have Maldiva's team getting dotted up here. There's the Shamanist Rage from Wallflower. He should be fine, although he's at like 40%. So Cording going down here in the half bash, though. He could die. He's got the Barkskin at 7%, 10%. He's trying to recover. He needs some heals from Wallflower if he can. This is not looking good for the team of Cording, and his LSD is just falling behind with the spread pressure here. It's seeming like the Feral Bleeds are just doing too much to them right now. Uh, Maldiva in a battle with this warlock for damage trying to get his dots out and he so far it looks like he's winning uh the clone does get interrupted knocked back but he does get the second clone onto maldiva diva who decides to use his, uh, his uh unbound to get out of that a lot of damage now coming out from this LSD. This is going to be another one of their efforts. He's got the Dark Soul on Nuker coming out here. The Shadow Fear from Maldiva He's trying to counteract. He's trying to prevent him from doing as much damage as he can. Putting out his own dots, causing counter pressure. Very well done right here. Uh, Khan is cloned up from the other team, and Yips is in a Shadow Fury. So, the other, so Maldiva's team is not doing exactly what they want right now. But at the same time, uh, they did force the Iron Bark there onto Nuker, who's sitting at about 40% health. And Wallflower has his Shamanistic Rage coming back. Cording has that decent mana right now, but he's going to definitely start to be going um at this point Khan is getting trained a lot right here just top himself nicely at the bottom there good job getting away there's the bark skin and the bash onto cording he decides to bark skin right there maybe a little bit preemptively but it looks like he just does not want to get too low to where he has to use too much mana or too many other cooldowns wallflower right here in the middle, taking a lot of damage, taking heat right now, and Nuka right there as well. Yips on him while Maldiva's on Wallflower. This is not a good situation for the LSD. They're just taking so much more damage, but now Maldiva getting shadow locked right there. That's not good. It's going to stop some of the pressure. It's going to allow the LSD to recover, as you can see right here. They're all at around 90% health now, and now Maldiva's FLS is falling a little bit behind. Khan is struggling to heal a little bit. He's at about 60-70% with all the dots on him. Maldiva also has dots, and Yips is also taking damage, but Cording is taking the brunt of the damage right now from Kitty Meows, from Yips, and he's dead right there with the Feral Bleeds and the stun. Wow, he just, he did not have a Bark Skin for that, decided not to trinket that, possibly a misplay, and, and that's the first game going to FLS of...